Spencer at a young age one time looked at a globe and he said, Dad, I want to be the best in the world. Number one ranked and undefeated, Spencer Lee. Anytime he's taken a second place, we had to go dig the medal out of the trash can. This is the Big Ten. He makes a mockery it's of illegal. this sport. It's, it's not that easy. He feels that like, how can he win an Olympic gold medal if anybody in this country is going to touch him? Spencer Lee is the most needed wrestler we've ever had. Back, Spence, and then he's close to the Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. I remember hearing the name Spencer Lee when he became associated with Jody Stripmatter and the Young Guns Wrestling Club. The thing about Stripmatter's club is, is these kids are good early and they get better. And so when you hear a name early, you put it on your radar and it doesn't go away. There you go. I started wrestling when I was four and he's two years younger than me. Growing up, I just knew he won everything. He won Tulsa Nationals, he won Reno, all that Trinity, American Crown stuff. I don't remember a time that he lost when I was little. I come from France. When Larry and I met, we met because of judo, and uh, I was ranked number three in France as a junior. And I was the alternate for the 1992 Olympics. I ended my judo career in 1987 and ended up becoming the, um, a member of the U.S. national coaching staff. We didn't install competitiveness in our, our kids. We just always tell them that they have to finish where they start. When it comes to Spencer, we didn't have to push that because I think he was born like that. Too high, Spencer! He was really determined and competitive. Maybe that can be passed on, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I was born to do combat sports. I think that was what my body was made for, even though I'm kind of little. Come on, Spencer! We forced him to do other things, so he played Little Gritters football. He played soccer. One year he played on two travel soccer teams. A lot of parents, they kind of get their kids in one sport and then just invest 100% in it. We were trying not to do that. At age eight, one of our coaches came to me and, and told me I should take Spencer to Tulsa now. for sure. She said, what's that? I said, there's going to be a lot of wrestling in our future. odd, 
when people started asking them to sign things. And I was really surprised when you'd walk into a tournament and you'd see people turn and say, that's Spencer Lee, that's Spencer Lee. At the Super 32, his eighth grade year, I pull up the middle school division and, he, and he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm looking at the bracket, you know, to sign you up. He goes, I'm not going middle school, I'm going high school. He makes it to the finals. He loses to Nick Seriano in the finals in a really tough match. He gets his award and he throws his medal in the trash. So I go up and I dig the medal out and I find him, he's outside. And I said, son, I got your medal. He goes, I don't care, I never want to see it. The next week I'm at work and Kathy calls me. He asked for his Super 32 medal. He hung it up on the back of his door. The metal was actually banging uh, in the back of the door. And, and I asked Spencer, I was like, what did you put your metal there? And he said, uh, uh, because every time I close my door, that reminds me that I lost this match. He wanted to get better. We had a high school team, but he was pretty quickly above the level that was offered there. We came from a pretty rural area in Pennsylvania. Larry and I, you know, we had to make a lot of uh, sacrifice to get him to where he needed to find that level of training. He's the one that demanded it. I mean, he was almost in tears. He's like, I will never become what I want to become if I don't go to Pittsburgh. We said, if that's really what you want, we're going to support you. I think the hardest decision Spencer had to make was a senior year in the doctor's office in late December when the doctor told him he had a complete tear of his ACL. And I wanted him to shut it down. Nothing pointed to his ability to be able to wrestle, but he said he wanted to try. Spencer was a three-time PA state champion undefeated and wanted to uh, go for his fourth undefeated state title. Spencer Lee, 35 and 0, a three-time defending state champion looking for title number four tonight. It popped out on him again at the state tournament. And I looked at him then and I said, this courage and this stupidity. I said, this is not boring on stupidity. You have nothing to prove. And he looked at me with big tears in his eyes. I'll never forget this. He said, you don't know me, do you, Dad? I said, what do you mean? He goes, you think I, I want to wrestle for my fourth state title. This is not about my fourth state title. This is about me having to live the rest of my life without knowing whether or not I could have pulled it off. We have either a four-time state champion or the upset of the century. He was worried that if I did happen to lose, which I did, that it would haunt me. DeSanto trying to get around back. He will run out of time. Oh, they give it two! Right at the end. Yeah, losing did haunt me. But, but not, not for as long as you would think. That's a moment that no one in this building is ever gonna forget. He came to my hotel, it's about three o'clock in the morning, and there's a knock on my door. And I opened the door and he's standing there and he looked at me, he goes, I want you to know I wouldn't do a thing differently. The thing that sucks about recruiting is being number two in the game, you get no points for it. We were getting our tails beat in the recruiting wars, especially on paper, the perception. Spencer. I knew when we were going through that process and you know, I know he was coming out here on visits, he was looking at Penn State. I knew how much it helped propel us to state titles when he was on my high school team. Three near fall points, 15 to nothing tech fall, three state titles for Wade. He can have even more of an effect coming out here, coming across the country and taking the lead of our program. You know where it clicked for me 
and Lee has made a statement about being OW. Is uh, at the state tournament, the year that he beat DeSanto, it was his junior year, and the crowd was kind of, you know, sketchy with him, and he comes off the mat, and he's, you know, putting his hands down on the table, and how do you like that domination type thing? And I just looked over to Morningstar, and I said, that's our guy, he's coming to Iowa. He had narrowed down his choices to two schools, which was Iowa or Penn State. He really, really wanted to go to Iowa, but he had so much pressure to go to Penn State, and sometimes he was questioning himself. When you live in Pennsylvania and you're who Spencer Lee is, I think it is tough. We know how K.O. Sanderson recruits. It's hard to say no. One night I knew he was really struggling. We're on this walk and he turned to me and he stopped and he goes, what do you think, Dad? And I said, son, I'm not gonna do that. And he goes, why won't you tell me what you think? And I said, because it's your decision. It was just hard because I knew that picking that would, was, would change my entire life. And I remember just being like, I can't do this anymore. Like, it's killing me, Dad. Like, I'm just going to go to Penn State. And I just sat down and I just stared at my phone. And the only image I could see in my face was uh, me in the middle of a mat and Terry Brands coaching against me. And I didn't want that. From Sheldon, Iowa. So looking at the intensity of Terry Brands, uh, he definitely wants this one. I don't want him coaching against me. I want him coaching for me. Here comes Brands around with a power move, and he takes a two to nothing lead. You'll never find a man that could motivate you more than Terry Brands. He didn't start his freshman year in Iowa, and then the next year he won a national title. And then he won a world title the, the, the year out of college. Wins a world title in 1993, which is insane. 2000, makes the Olympic team again. And he ends up losing off of like kind of bad refing in the Olympics. And he ended up taking a bronze. It's like I want to win an Olympic gold medal for him. I want to win and just hand it to him. This is yours, you know? If Terry Brands had that much of an impact in my brain, I have to go there. You're putting that last puzzle piece in there. It was the big one. It was a shot heard around the world. It was a big one. Later on, we found out that people actually had parties. They had parties to, you know, to celebrate Spencer committing in here. A little bit of pressure, but he can handle pressure. He's got a lot of pressure on himself. That was just the beginning, I guess. Got a wrestler here. This is Spencer Lee. You want to tell the fans out there where you're from, what weight you're wrestling at, and uh, what year you are. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm a 125 pounder and I'm a true freshman. When he first came out, I, I would tell you that Iowa was very cautious. Tom had always told me that this is more about the individual than the team, that we're gonna do what's right by Spencer. Of, of course we could use his points, but if it's not right for Spencer, we're not gonna wrestle him. He was still on the men and he was doing very well and he got cleared. People would ask me, I remember people Spencer, tech, tech, pin, no freshman jitters for you. Tell me about uh, competing on the big stage. Well, if the coaches didn't think I was ready, it wouldn't be here. When Spencer committed to the University of Iowa, when he hung up that phone, he goes, Dad, I have two goals. I'm gonna win four NCAA titles, and I wanna make sure that we win at least two team titles. I wanna make sure that I leave Iowa back where they belong. There's the fall. Yeah! He's got some techniques and skills that are so smooth that it's like, whoa, I haven't seen anybody do it that good. Unbelievable. When Spencer is in that circle, he is going to score no matter what. Man, that Spencer Lee, he is just an animal on top. He's just an animal. When he's on top of someone, there's a mean streak there. He's very, hey, this is what I'm gonna do and there's nobody in it that's gonna get in my way. The way that he could score points in bundles. Oh my goodness, Spencer Lee. There's 40 bushels of points that he scores in every match. 
get back points almost immediately. And you got all these bushels full of points and they're Spencer Lee points. Here we go, Spencer Lee, number one, Nathan Tomasello. That Ohio State duel, true freshman. I mean, he won a tough, gutsy match. Tough and gutsy. It's gonna be tough for Lee to stay out of it. Look at Lee battling here. Tomasello had his hand or two on one wrist and he's gonna get out and we gotta keep him down. Spencer, one arm lift to the mat kept him down. True freshman, the winner at 125. That's a big moment. Nationals that year. Him and Tomasello had an epic match. I think that ended with the scramble. Who gets a pin in that situation right there? And Spencer Lee's amazing freshman ride continues. To me, that was my most favorite moment, is him coming out for the first time. This huge scene, something that only 10 wrestlers a year accomplish. Guys through, Spencer Lee with the two point takedown. The Lee has been freed, the Lee is a national champion. I love pressure, I live, I thrive under it. It's uh, what I live for. This is the sport is what I live for. And uh, I'm hoping to wrestle on bigger stages. He would say, if I'm gonna be a world champion, I can't lose here. Every time I ever lost, articles upon articles are written. It's true that like every guy I've kind of lost to in college has gone on to become a little more, uh, a little more famous. Yeah, boy! When he's not happy with a performance or when he loses, you stay away because if you approach him, you will regret it. <laughs> I'm very hard on myself, and I take things to a different level that it's almost very, very negative, and that's always been a flaw of mine um, since I was eight years old. Yeah, he's got a cradle hooked up. He's a perfectionist, so he's like real hard on himself sometimes. I shouldn't have put my head to my knee, you know, like maybe I suck. He means that, and like, he's better than that. This place just exploded, wow. It looks like we're headed to overtime. He's in good position, but Rivera horses him and takes him down for a two-point takedown. Just horsed him in that situation. I never really believed that the guy who beat me beat me because he was better than me at wrestling. That fueled him and propelled him to a spot where no one can touch him, to be honest. Now he's got that tilt. Spencer Lee with pitch knee on his back. When you watch Spencer Lee on the mat, and you see how he's mad that he didn't tech fall a guy. You think, man, this guy's a poor sport. But that's what makes Spencer Lee great. He can have a bad week, a bad practice, but when he comes to the scene and it means something very important, he's just a performer. Iowa Spencer Lee, a two-time national champion at 125 pounds. He's not just a great wrestler. I mean, he's he's above great wrestler. Lee looking for the fall and he gets it. Everything that he does improves his wrestling. The only way that Spencer Lee can lose is if he gets injured or if he slams someone. That's the only way he can lose. Spencer Lee, why are you the baddest man on the planet? I'll take your word for it, how's that? He knows his goals. His goals are to be the, the best wrestler in the world, and he's known that from the time he was little, and he's not going to sacrifice that for anything. I think he sees himself as trying to be the best wrestler that America's ever seen and the world. I strongly believe we still haven't seen the best venture match yet. You guys would think I'm kind of being crazy, but I, I always tell my teammates I haven't done anything yet. This is 
seem like he's been around a long time, and he has, but he's still got a lot to do yet. That's what's amazing. 